Thank you all for allowing me to take just a moment. Because someone said that when the praises go up, they said the blessings come down. And so I think every now and then, we need to just, just praise Him. Every now and then, we just need to just open our mouth and say thank you. We need to just open our mouth and say we adore you. Every now and then we just hope, need to open our mouth and say we bless you Lord for all the things that you've done for us, all the things you've been to us, all the doors you opened, all the stuff you kept me from, all the things you've delivered me through, all the healings that you've done, all the saving that you've done. God, just thank you, just thank you, just thank you. Somebody in here, all you need to do is just say Jesus, just say Jesus, just say Jesus, just say Jesus, just, just, just say Jesus because there's power in the name of just saying Jesus, just say somebody know Jesus kept you from running off the side of the highway, Jesus kept your child from being still born. Jesus. 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 They said out that name every knee shall bow. Jesus. 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 Rosa Sharon. Jesus. Wheel in the middle of a wheel, Jesus. Jesus. Rock in a weary land, Jesus. Jesus. Friend to a friendless, Jesus. Jesus. Hope for the hopeless, Jesus. Jesus. Doctor in the sick room, Jesus. Jesus. Lawyer in the courtroom, Jesus. Jesus. Ah, Jesus. Jesus. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh. See, see, we used to we used to play around with it when we was kids. We'd be playing church and we'd be playing around with it. We'd be done, we'd be just saying we just be playing around. We just be playing around, y'all. We just be playing. We be playing and we just be playing. We be just playing church and all of a sudden. Some get a hold of us. We would just be playing. Some of y'all just need to start playing church and and watch he don't show up. Ha. Mess you up. God, he done healed your body. Ha. Huh. Mm. Mm. Uh. See, we already had a praise service in the back already. So y'all need to know, y'all, this the po this the postlude right here. We already had the prelude. Oh.
Somebody say hallelujah in the house today. Yes, God. Yes, God. Mm. We do have. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, rewind and just yes, think of where you could have been and where you should have been and you just start praising the Lord yes he did yes he did yes he did Yes, he did. Oh, Lord, he did. He's been a friend, been my friend, been my friend. Oh, yeah, can't you? Anybody need a friend? He's been my friend. Been my friend. I can praise him all by myself. I don't need no help. Somebody say hallelujah in the house today. There it is. Thank God for we allow. We allow for that. Matter of fact, we get out of God's way when God wants to release some folk from what you've been holding on to sometime for months. When God gives you that time to release you, you just got to release. And no better time than when Sunday comes. Amen. Amen. We do have work to do today. If you have your Bibles, I encourage you to turn in the Bible, in your Bibles, to the book of Exodus chapter 11. The book of, of Exodus chapter 11. Um, um, beginning at verse 1. And um, Exodus chapter 11, beginning at verse 1. And once you have it, um, as you might stand... Though all those who can stand in reverence to the word of God today. Mm -hmm. Hold that. There. <laughs> you stay there. All right. If you have it, please say amen. If you still look and say wait, that's all good. Are we good? Again, uh, Exodus chapter 11, beginning at verse 1, concluding at verse 8. The Bible says, And the Lord said unto Moses, Yet will I bring one plague more unto Pharaoh and upon Egypt. Afterwards, he will let you go hence. When he shall let you go, he shall surely thrust you out hence altogether. Verse 2, speak now in the ears of the people and let every man borrow of his neighbor and every woman of her neighbor jewels of silver and jewels of gold. And the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. 
Moreover, the man Moses was very great in the land of Egypt, in the sight of Pharaoh's servants, and in the sight of the people. And Moses said, thus saith the Lord, about midnight, somebody say midnight. midnight. Will I go out into the midst of Egypt, and all the firstborn in the land of Egypt shall die. From the firstborn of Pharaoh that sitteth upon his throne, even unto the firstborn of the maidservant that is behind the mill, and all the firstborn of beasts. And there shall be a great cry throughout all the land of Egypt, such as there was none like it, nor shall be like it any more. Verse 7, but against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast that ye may know how that the Lord doth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. Verse 8, and all these thy servants shall come down unto me and bow down themselves unto me saying, get thee out. And all the people that followed thee. And after that I will go out. And he went out from Pharaoh in great anger. Thus ends the reading of the word of the Lord. You may be seated in his presence. And for those who can bow your heads with me as we, as we pray. Father God, we just come again, God, just thanking you for another day, another day uh, that we've never, ever seen before. God, we thank you for this day because we believe that today is going to be a new day for someone. Today is going to be a day of change for somebody in here. And so, God, I just praise your name that you're going to eliminate any distractions that might hinder someone from hearing your voice clearly. God, sit me, your servant, down so that you might stand in everything that I say and do. God, allow us not to be tempted to be distracted by anything on the outside. Allow us to be very focused on what you're going to do in this place today. Make your word plain, clear, and understood so that these, your children, can leave this place and apply your word immediately to their lives. And so, God, we bless you now with a yet praise, anticipating what you're going to do in this place. It is in Jesus' name we offer this up. Somebody say amen. I do realize that I stand between y'all and the Super Bowl. <laughs> it's all good, though. All right. So I said 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. All right. I ain't going to be that long. Got to get the chicken wings in the oven. <laughs> y'all laughing. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. <laughs> Nevertheless, we do, <laughs> there is a word from the Lord. It's all right if I laugh. Is that okay? Because I ain't been laughing all week. Ain't stuff ain't been funny this week. This just not been a funny week. This has been a really tough one, boy. So I just need to laugh today. Praise God. Nevertheless, the, the uh, title of today's teaching is right there uh, in, on the front of your bulletin. Somebody read that out loud. I want to hear y'all read it out loud. What does it say? You have till midnight. You have till midnight. Say it one more time. You have till midnight. That is the title of today's teaching. And so uh, if, you, uh, if you heard the scripture that was read, you kind of already have the context to where that midnight piece came from. Uh, and so we're going to use that today to help us to understand that we have something to do before midnight comes. Amen. We got something to do before midnight comes. Because midnight is coming. Uh, but you'll find out from today's scripture that if you ain't ready... When midnight comes, man, it could be deadly. Hello. It could be deadly for you if you're not ready.